men. Y'all remember when y'all was screaming, bring back the women who pack lunches and rub backs. Bring back the women like my grandmother. You want to know how to bring back the women like your grandmother? Watch this. As he said, I was married for 66 years. And uh, some picked up my chick on the side. I didn't have no chick on the side, no girlfriend either. I had a three in one. I had a girlfriend, I had a love, and I had a wife. If you got a good wife, she could be anything to you you want her to be. So now if you have a good wife, treat her like she your wife. That she your honey, that she your baby, that she your sugar, and that she your sweetheart. And I start taking money off and made her a queen for a day. Do anything. She didn't have to cook breakfast, dinner, or lunch, or nothing. Sometimes she didn't even have to make up the bed because I did that for her. Then the men used to call me, boy, you just hen pick. I said, that ain't no, no problem as long as you being picked by the right hen. Yeah. And women like compliment. And she would look, come to you and say, how this look? You, you just, <clears throat> she fit to go change again. She put on another dress, you had to, <clears throat> she fit to go change again. When she put it on and come and tie and stand right and see, how this this look? You better say, baby, you look good in there. Yeah. And then you fit to get out the house. Yeah. If you got a good wife, she dressed to please you, yeah. not anybody else. Yeah. Show out for your wife. Now, the way you show out for your wife, you go to the drugstore, buy one of them mushy cards. And then when you buy that card, you put your mushy on it. This is the big card right here. You take one and you put a big piece of money under that one and you put it under the pillar. And now is here's the last one. When she turned that pillar back and opened that car with all that good talking, mushy stuff, and that big bill in it, you ain't got one more thing to do. Look up to heaven and say, Lord, give me strength. I know there were a lot of horror stories about grandmothers getting beat on and mistreated and cheated on, but that was not all grandmothers. Some of our grandfathers treated our grandmothers like this man here. And if you want us to start treating y'all like our grandmothers treated our granddaddies, y'all gonna have to bring this type of treatment back. Take notes, men. All you gotta do is put it under the pillow and lay back and wait.